It's night time here in Connecticut and normally we stay indoors at night because dark creatures lurk in the shadows. There is said dark creature right now. What are you doing? Do we? No, tonight I am making a video about headlights. I know, it's exciting stuff. Um, in particular, the difference between LED headlights and Xenon headlights, uh, which are the two choices you can get on the Porsche 911. Uh, my car has the more classical looking Xenon headlights and my friend Kevin, who has once again very kindly lent me his car for the night, has the more modern um, LED lights. Uh, and I think they both perform in a similar way, but they look very different when you're driving the car. So I wanted to try and show you that by mounting a camera with a very wide aperture lens on it on both cars. Um, and we're also going to use a light meter to measure the difference in light output between the two cars. So, okay, so this is not very scientific, of course, but uh, what I did was uh, I wanted to take a baseline measurement with a regular car. And the regular car that volunteered is my little Golf. So 2013 and of course it's got um, regular halogen lights uh, and when you park the Golf next to the Porsche uh, the halogen lights look pretty weak and pretty yellow the Porsche lights are much brighter um, so you know I notice the difference between I'm, when I'm moving from car to car and this is why I didn't think the LEDs would be worthwhile because I already knew how impressive the Xenons were uh, in the Porsches so what I did is I parked the cars exactly 10 feet from the garage and then I took uh, light measurements, um, both an average and a peak, while the car's lights were on low beam. Uh, and the Volkswagen with the halogen uh, came out with respectable results, with about 650 average lux uh, across, the, across the whole beam, with peaks of about 900. So I thought that was pretty good for the Volkswagen. And then I did the same thing with the uh, uh, Xenons on my car. Uh, and as expected, um, they were significantly bright, almost twice as bright, um, uh, 1100 average with a peak of 1600 on the Xenons on low beam. But then I turned on the, um, <laughs> the, the Porsche with the LEDs, Kevin's LEDs, and I was pretty impressed. I really didn't think uh, that the LEDs would be much brighter than the Xenons, but they are. Uh, 1600 average with a peak of 2200. So what's that about? 40% brighter than my very bright lights. So yeah, the, the LEDs are definitely a lot brighter than the Xenons, which are already significantly brighter than the halogens. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but yeah, I was a bit blown away by just how much difference it makes. Uh, then I measured uh, all the cars with their lights on high beam, uh, and the Volkswagen performed a lot better here at 2200 on high beam, um, which, is, which is pretty good. Um, and then my car with the Xenons was uh, 3800, very bright with the high beam, and the LEDs were a little less um, at 3600. Now, uh, what I'd say about that is I bet there's a lot more to be unlocked in the LEDs on high beam. Uh, there's silly regulations here limiting the wattage of cars' lights on high beam here in the US, and as I found out with my BMW, uh, when I coated that car, my high beams became at least twice as bright. So I bet the LEDs can go a lot brighter again. Not that there's anything wrong with how amazingly bright they are already, but I bet there's a lot more to be unlocked there. So I was a little surprised to find the LEDs not quite as bright as the uh, Xenons on high beam, but pretty close. So overall, yeah, blown away by how bright the LEDs were, because I was already blown away with how bright the Xenons were. Uh, and then I took all the cars for a quick scoot around the... Um, around the neighborhood. Um, I don't know how effective this is. Like it, it shows up a lot more with your actual eyes than on the camera. The camera tends to adjust. Even though I locked the settings for each car, you can really see the difference between the Volkswagen and my car. And then uh, there's not such a big jump between my car and the car with the LEDs, but you can still see the difference. And of course, with these Porsche um, lights, they turn uh, with the car, they look into the corners and of course um, there's a special feature also with, with the LEDs which the Xenons don't have which is the anti-dazzle feature. If it sees another car coming towards it, it automatically dips the lights again. So there you have it. Um, yeah, pretty interesting results. Um, the, the LEDs are certainly brighter than the Xenons and the Xenons obviously is significantly brighter than the, uh, than the, uh, than the halogens. Uh, is it worth it to you, the extra $2,000 odd dollars? Uh, it's up to you. You know, to me, I really love the look of the, um, of the Xenons, but a lot of people really like the modern uh, uh, look of the LEDs, and they are definitely brighter, so uh, definitely worth considering. I hope this has been helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.